to put one thing on these Dodge Rams, which is a seems to be an inherent problem. Is the sway bar laying seems to make a noise, or what I just found out going through all the forms, and we're going to test this out today, is the actual rubber bushings get worn out. So just going through a rough section that maybe I can make the noise. I'll show you guys what it sounds like now, and then we'll go to. Uh, putting on brand new uh, poly bushings in that I found that they one of the guys used from uh, on the forms and they can give the part numbers and all that after this. So I don't know if we'll hear it or not. It sounds funny. It sounds like it's on the driver's side but you can hear it to a rattle. It might be quiet as you can hear. Let's see what we can do. I'll flip back to you guys in a bit once I'm underneath the truck. So here we are, removing the first sway bar link. Sorry, I forgot the video, the part of unbolting it. Um, I did use penetration on the bolts, but I don't think the penetration lube did any difference. I think the bolts were pretty good. They weren't overly tight. Probably felt like 40 pounds of torque on them. Um, as you can see, a little bit of rust under here, but not too bad. We'll uh, cut this off with the knife and uh, see how she goes. All right, so we're on to the second side. As you can see, this is the old bushing. Amazingly, for a 2019, pretty worn out. Um, well, the ultimate test would be after we put these on, if the noise has gone away. Uh, I did put brand new sway links on, or uh, sway link arms on. So, can't be them. I looked over the whole truck. I cannot find any other knocks in the suspension, so it has to be these, because on the forms, this is what the guys were talking about. So first, you're gonna remove this 15 uh, mil bolt, and there's another one behind. Um, if you think yours are corroded, in behind you can access it, and you can spray some uh, penetration lube to get into the threads. Um, and that's where we're gonna go from. So let me get to that now. We're gonna give this a shot right now. Let's take a look. I'm gonna angle it up. Maybe you guys can watch me remove it. Not the best shot, but it's cause I don't have fancy camera stuff. Now, I did not put penetrating oil, so let's see if these are as easy as the other side was. They're a little bit stiffer, not too bad. That one's pretty loose. Back one was easier on the other side too. But what I will do this time, I'm gonna leave the thread in, leave it threaded in a bit and loosen the other side. Okay, I think I had some torque from the torsion bar moving backwards due to the sway bar link torque because I lifted the truck up some. Yeah, there you go, you can see that as it pushes down. This one is actually easier than the other side. But again, it depends where you are. If your truck is really rusty, you're going to want to put penetrating oil. Yeah, this is super easy. Coming off like nothing. That one's loose. There we go. Take that one off. Just put it down here beside the camera. This one is hand loose also. Excellent. And all I did was I pulled down and out. And you can pull this off. I don't know if it's in the camera or not. I believe it is. Pull it off, trying to get too much dirt in your eyeballs. And off she comes. Funny enough, they look like they're polys, but I believe they're rubber. And what you're gonna do next is slide it down a little bit and you're gonna cut it across the thinnest point that you can and it'll come right off. Cause these aren't slit like the uh, ones from energy suspension. So anyways, let me get to that. Actually, I might even brought the knife with me. Let me see, I did. So, let's cut this. Hopefully not cut her finger on camera. All I do is just push through gently. Just let her go and it's gonna put some torque on it just to open it up some. Run her through a couple times. Try not to scratch the sway bar because you'll end up causing probably more rust spots. 
We don't want that. Let's push it through. And come on, baby. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh, there we go. We got a little bit left down there. Go like this. We got her. Just pull her apart. There we go. Come on, baby. And there she is. And all I did was slide the forge and off. And you can just you can just see very hard some crap. I guess that's the paint and shit on the inside. A lot of dirt. So I'm gonna clean all this. I'm gonna wipe it down, make it all look clean, and I'll lube up the other bushing and put it on. Okay, so we're gonna put on the bushing now. <clears throat> so what I do, it's all lubed. You gotta lube it up with their special lube or these things will squeak. Okay, so what I did on the other side, you want the uh, slit facing forward. I don't know, I just heard that, so that's what we're gonna do. And then you put it in place and bingo, that's pretty much it. Let me just get the bracket goes on just like so line her up where she has to be grab a bolt once i can get hold that with this hand and line her up right there there's one not too bad and number two Nice and level in there, perfect. It's in the center, perfect. All right, and then you just bolt it up. Just gonna do these both at a time here with the hand. Grab my handy dandy wrench, or socket wrench. Start cranking away on this, just so it's snug, and then I do the other side. All right, stop there. I want to bring them down sort of evenly, just the way I want to do it. So, so you do. And this one here, I'm going to snug down tighter. All right, like that. Same with this one, bring it down. Once it hits the bottom, I'm going to tighten it and go a quarter turn like that. This one here, same thing, quarter turn. Perfect, that's Canadian pork right there, baby. Beautiful, just make sure they're nice and tight. Bring them down equally, that feels the same. Yeah, feels the same, probably like 40 pounds, who knows? Anyways, that is now installed. I'll take some pictures from the outside. I'm just gonna clean up some of the grease all over this. As you can see, it's everywhere. Look at that, she looks pretty good under here. So maybe the oil pan looks kind of rusty, which ain't good. So anyways, talk to you guys soon. All right, now we're fully installed. They look really nice, actually, but everything's clean. You can see the new uh, sway bar links. There's my rusty oil pan, I have to get that looked at. And then uh, there's the other one, which you can barely see on this side. But no, they look really good. We're gonna see, we're gonna go for a test drive and make sure that they see if the rattle's gone. The knocking rattle. It's like rattle, rattle, knock, knock. So anyways, let's see how this goes. Well, amazingly, we fixed the issue. No noise, and I've hit a couple good bumps. This is the quietest I've heard this truck in a long time. Um, pretty cheap fix if you think about it it was 45 Canadian for the sway bar bushings and uh, amazing it looks really really good and, and it's amazing uh, it looks really really good my thing is is that I can't believe just a chunk you know a couple chunks of rubber would make that much noise I know I do all the poly bushings with my street rods but it's amazing on uh, this vehicle how well it actually works so anyways looks good thanks for watching and uh, I don't know this poor old truck keeps going on now we gotta look into the rusty oil pan which is really bad I phoned them and they said it was a chip it's not covering our warranty well we're gonna fix that issue that's one dealer I usually bring it for service I talked to the dealership that I bought the vehicle from